<laughs> Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. Love hurts. Agree anyone? Only if you let hurt you. Sometimes it's a good hurt. Love's it hurts not to have love. Love sings when it transcends the bad things. I'm not too late. I like this guy, but I don't want to tell him. I miss seeing his lovely face. I can only talk to him online. What do I do? Tell him. You regret the things you didn't do. Lasso him. Slam him against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> then ask him out. It worked for me. Humans are an anomaly. Two different species, man and woman, that can interbreed. They are the same species. They were obviously making a joke. I know it is one-sided love. Shall I continue? The real reason I haven't really tried to date is so I can avoid rejection, but now I regret where this attitude has led me. Come on, guys. Cut out the whining. She obviously has a boyfriend. Loneliness is temporary. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. Are we humans or are we dancers? I can't get over the fact that I want him to keep liking me. But to experience love is better than never knowing what love is. Some of them were creepy as hell. Yeah, but most of them were sweet or hilarious. I love our floor. I really do too. Everyone's just as quirky as me and they're constant baked goods. <laughs> Dude, so many people on our floor are in love. Yeah, I know. I read that secret about that guy and that girl being together forever. It was adorable. Yeah, and did you hear that one about the girl who's in love with her best friend and he doesn't know? Yeah, there are so many unrequited love stories there. <laughs> and that girl who steals copious amounts of liquid from the Tucon soda fountain. <laughs> I couldn't even figure out how to work the water dispenser until two weeks in. I thought the water tasted like lemon in Washington. <laughs> I'm so retarded! Ah, uh, but somehow I'm in honors. God, I love honors. <laughs> sure, but apparently we've got some creepers. Did you read that secret about that guy who goes into unlocked doors at night and watches people sleep for hours? That's the weirdest thing ever. I know! <laughs> Whatever, I'm going back to sleep. Sorry to keep you up. It's cool. Night, man. sensitive forearm. How long have you been dating? <laughs> well, you know, I liked it better at the beginning, when everybody was first getting to know each other. This years going by way too fast. Like you'd be washing your hands in the bathroom and some girl would be like, oh, I have the same hand wash, and you'd be like, wow, Insta friends. <laughs> I just thought it was really annoying though. Really? Well, no, I guess not. 
It was actually nice. I met a lot of really nice people, and I really liked everyone. It was just that the bathroom took a little while to get used to. Normally it's a sacred place, but the L7 bathroom isn't really that way. <laughs> it's the first bathroom where someone has actually talked to me at the urinal. <laughs> that seems like that bright cardinal boy at a kid roll number one. Yeah, it took some time getting used to. I don't know, that seems a little odd. But yeah, we all have things about us on our floor that are odd, and we like each other anyway. I like that. They can be pretty odd sometimes, though. Like? I don't know, let's get back to see. Hmm? You guys really think we're ready for the exam? Maybe we should study for a few more hours. I have more questions about protein synthesis. Or we could get out of here and go see a movie. I think there's a really good zombie movie playing at the varsity. We don't have time to go see a movie. I want to go to Michael's party. Who's Michael? <laughs> he's this guy I know from the dorms. The honors floor? I think he's on one of the party floors in Lander. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Have you seen him dance? No, what's his major? I heard he was music, but then he told me he was doubling in cinema studies and neurobiology. <laughs> Why neurobiology? I don't know. He wants to be a performer? His family is really into it. No, I've heard rumors. Weird things. Once I heard he spent a whole night in the Indian burial ground at the Arboretum, he was reading a physiology textbook in Frankenstein. That's weird. I don't know. He sounds pretty normal for an otter's kid. Hey, do you guys want to get something to eat? I've already had Mexican food this week. And we've been studying the blood-brain barrier so much lately, I could go for some brains. Brains! <laughs> oh, you guys, did somebody say brains? Oh, are you guys coming to my party? Yeah, I think we will. When does it start? Well, in about an hour. Like, I wanted to do this, like, party thing, because I haven't really been sleeping that well lately, so I figured maybe if I, you know, like, dance a little bit or maybe had a little bit of drink, I'd just feel a lot better. Yeah, being sleep-deprived stinks. Last week I didn't sleep for 48 hours because of a chem, uh, chem midterm. You been studying? No, no, I've just, I just, I've been thinking about us and like about, you know, honors floor and how much we should all hang out more, you know? We always thought you hung out with people on your floor. No, I live on this floor, silly. Gasp. <laughs> <laughs> See, I live down the hallway and I keep my door open, but no one ever comes. But tonight you can all come to my party. I've even got brains. Brains! Don't worry about it. We'll check on uh, <laughs> 